What's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about something called minimum enclosing circle problem, MEC. Okay. And basically you are given a you are given a in two dimension, okay? A cluster of points and you are requested to find an circle that is such that that covers all the points in the cluster and the volume or in n dimension we should say volume and it, uh, we are looking at abstractly all right two dimension and the surface area should be minimized okay first of all how would you express that problem as a optimization problem okay before doing that let's recall what is the mathematical set definition of the circle here we can use some type of script c capital c and we need to employ c and r c is the center here and r is the radius okay and all right if that doesn't make sense just think about it for a second and it is going to make sense all right so basically this is circle in like or sphere in sphere in n dimensional space all right that's great we need to find two parameters c and r okay c is an n dimensional vector and r is a scalar positive of course all right so we can express the problem given by this expression all right and again we can since we know that r is going to be positive okay and we can just transform that problem to this expression and those two problems are equivalent okay so the answer rc to this problem is equal to answer rc okay those expressions pairs okay so okay and of course i know i haven't made a good explanation for why that is the case but let's not worry about that for a second okay and you can do you can do that type of things whenever you have whenever you have a concavity and positivity okay all right okay all right so and if you look at this expression you can write it here x tra x transpose times x okay you can you can write it like this okay all right this is something that you are familiar with i suppose and here this is what we need to solve right and again if we employ this change of variable okay this is the problem that we need to solve and this problem again like the problem that we solve if you look at you know ellipsoid problem and it is convex all right and that is something that we can solve easily all right so here if we look at this like page okay all right this part of the you know screen this is the original problem and by using this change of variable we kind of reduce that problem or transform that problem and obtain an equivalent representation well of this problem and we have this okay this is convex we can solve easily and this is the change of variable all right all right so let's go to matlab okay and see for ourselves how we can solve that by using yolmip and mosaic here you need to add mosaic and yolmip all right let's clear the you know memory let's generate so as no random numbers center x and center y here we can we are looking at two dimensional you know space and again we are generating bunch of cluster points okay and we are shifting by using center x and center y right and then let's look at the let's look at the, i don't want to you know okay mention those details here we can see the cluster of points okay and here c and r squared i didn't call t right i called r two two 
let me know that stands for r squared okay if i want to find r i can just get if after i find this okay i need to take the square root of this expression okay so here if you look at this if you look at this we are basically this is the type of thing that we do all the time what we are doing is for every every point in the cluster we are imposing that constraint which constraint let me go back to tablet right this constraint okay right that, that constraint if you want me to write it like more explicitly i called r2 but yeah okay this is the constraint that we are imposing okay let's go back to matlab okay here xi minus c and norm squared less than or equal to r2 or t okay all right so here we are employing mosaic as our stp solver and we are trying to minimize t or r2 or r squared okay term and then we are recovering them in double format okay so let's run it it's going to take like a couple of seconds i think it is going to take like 30 seconds and here let's look at this we have 1000 points right that's not a small task okay here it says successful sort it's great okay let's you know recover r and draw that draw that here we can see here we can see one two and three points we can see three points on the boundary of that circle by the way this is circle it's it's not like it's right this is circle i didn't you know like okay plot it like properly and this is the function that i used to draw a circle okay and again you can find this code and you can find the um, mathematical manipulations that i did on the tablet in as pdf form right and with pdf extension from the github page the github the link of that github page you can download and you can i'm sorry you can see you can see right we can access it by looking at the description section down in the below it's given in the below right so and that's it and thanks for watching